I have spent over $12 million on Facebook ads and now $4.5 million on TikTok ads, running ads for e-commerce stores, some drop shipping, some not. And in fact, I'm about to give you the highlighted version of what I did to scale this e-commerce store to over $160,000 in the very first 30 days using only TikTok. So get ready, because this is everything you need. And I'm going to give you three of the biggest mistakes that I see people making right now. We have one of the most successful trainings on TikTok ads. You can find that in the second link in the description. It's called the TikTok Blueprint. We also have an epic group of e e-commerce ninjas that absolutely crush it and you can network with them, ask your questions through the link down below. So make sure to smash a like down below and let's look at an example. Take a look at this app called Rocket Money. They're running an ad. They have 27,000 likes on this ad. They also have 250 comments. That makes me want to interact. It makes me think, wait a minute, other people like this. I might like this too. That's basic human psychology when it comes to consumer purchasing. Now, I may be an idiot, but there is one thing I am not, sir, and that, sir, is an idiot. Now, let's compare that to Sandy Ecom. Again, no hate against these. I've never seen these. These just popped up before. No comments, 300 likes. That's brand new. It looks like they just launched this. They probably spent a few hundred dollars behind it. And they're talking about buying a business for as little as $20,000. I don't feel comfortable making a big investment just initially. I'm not even interested because I don't see a lot of social proof. So first and most important thing on TikTok, you need to be running what is called a Spark ad. This is very easy to set up. You can go into the TikTok help center, look up Spark posts, and you're gonna see exactly how to get the ID. It's in your settings on your TikTok ad account. And this is a step that a lot of people don't take in e-commerce. Instead of uploading the videos directly into your ads manager, post it on a TikTok account for your e-commerce store. You can not only get a bunch of organic engagement that way, but you go in and you enable the post ID and that allows you to run ads directly to it and you just put that ID in as a Spark ad when you're launching your ads. Now you might say, well, why exactly would I wanna do this? It's really simple. All of the engagement is funneled to that one video. Just like using an existing post over on Facebook, everything is in one spot. So instead of duplicating your ads and running five different audiences and every time it's to a new video technically, all of the likes, all of the comments go to one video. In fact, I had a video with 20 million views and it had so many tens of thousands of comments. When I stopped running ads for that product and I turned that ad off, it was still making thousands of dollars a day. That is why you wanna do it. Now you might be asking, why are we talking about Spark ads? I don't even have an ad. In fact, I don't even have a product. Let's talk about both those things really fast. Two things to consider when you're doing your product research. Number one, think about your selling price. My bare minimum to be profitable on TikTok is $40. Really, I need to be at about a $45 AOV. That stands for average order value. So if I'm selling a product for 35, I need to sell some other products with it to get my average into the 40s. That's the only way I can be profitable on TikTok long term when I'm scaling aggressively using the strategies that you can find linked in the description below. So you don't want to sell something for $15. It'll be really difficult. The second thing there is keeping in mind your average demographic. TikTok's strongest audience is everybody under 44 years old. When you get to that 45 plus age range, there's still people there, but it drops off. And in fact, one of my largest, my absolute largest e-commerce brands I was running for three and a half years did over $15 million in sales. It was the most boring product in the orthopedic space, not sexy at all. However, the avatar for our customer was a 53-year-old male from the US. That was not the ideal person for us to reach on TikTok. Hence why both times when I tried it, it didn't work very well. The reason I share that with you, it's so crucial to find the right product and pair it with the right platform. That product crushes it all day long on Facebook, still does but it doesn't work on TikTok, it just doesn't. So you have to make sure you're using the right platform for your product. Oh, and another bonus tip, I would not select 13 to 17 years old when you're running your ads. That age range seems to spend about 15% of your budget. It doesn't track any results because of the privacy laws, but after extensive testing with about $2 million worth of ad spend on that, I've noticed it doesn't actually really change the results. So logically, the people between 13 and 17, they don't even have a debit or credit card. They can't buy anything anyways, no point in targeting them. Now, once you've selected your product as promised, you're going to want to make some ads for it. And again, we are putting these on our TikTok page for our store and we're going to run them as Spark ads. Very, very simple to do, but you're not going to want one video. You probably don't want two. You need to make at least three videos. I'll do anywhere from three to six when I'm first starting. So you need to make a handful of videos. Easiest way to do that, have the product in your hand. Now let's get serious for a second. You might be saying, well, Hayden, how much money is this going to cost me? Because I really want to make $500 a day, which by the way, that would spit out about $130 a day in profit. That's $50,000 a year. It takes you less than 20 minutes a day to manage this once you get it up and running. So this is why this is important, right? It's very simple. Wait, 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 hold on a beat. If you have an e-commerce store, you need 
need to plug in my all-time favorite app, B Profit. It allows you to track all the analytics, all the profit, all your ad spend, all your product cost, everything in one place. It is so important to know exactly what your margin is. A lot of dropshippers get lost in the sauce, and that's how you get 10%, 15% margins. You need to stay on top of it. Go click the top link in the description right now, B Profit. I've worked with them for over a year. We even have them as a resource in our e-commerce program because they're that good. Check it out. There's a free trial if you click the top link in the description. I know you're going to like it. The most important thing to do is having the right budgets when you're starting your ads. And that is going to look like $100 a day minimum. I'm going to give you some very simple math. I have seen success with $20 a day ads with 50, but they never work for more than a week or two. And the reason for that, the learning phase on TikTok is a total of 50 conversions in a one week period. Very simple math. Let's say you're selling a product for $30 and you really need to have a $10 cost per purchase, meaning I'll pay $10 for each customer. If you need to be at 10, you got to times that by 50 to get that in a week. So that's $500. Let's just be conservative. Round up, we'll call it 600, okay? Seven days, you got to divide it by seven. 600 divided by seven, let's be even more conservative, $100 a day. So at the minimum price point product you should be selling, you have to run your ads at $100 a day to break out of the learning phase. It's really the only only way to get consistent sales on TikTok. In fact, I've had individual ad groups upwards of $12,000 a day for just one ad group. That's one, not a campaign, not just, just one. And we have a lot of specific stuff on budgets and structures and scaling and all that you can find in the second link below for the TikTok blueprint. Now, let's talk about, as promised, the three biggest mistakes that I see people make. I see a lot of people start TikTok ad accounts. We get a lot of really cool posts in our e-commerce group just like this one, people showing their inventory and talking about their ad problems and their successes, all of that. I see a lot of mistakes and, and people do stuff really well and really poorly. So the three biggest things, number one, people go way too specific with their targeting. TikTok is not Facebook. Facebook. You cannot treat it like that, okay? Wait a second. Shh. Do, you, do you hear that? Something doesn't feel right. Wait a second. I'll fix it. Here we go. That's much better. Wait, what if we did this one too? Whoa. Okay, fresh light and I'm feeling good. So again, you cannot have too specific of an audience. In fact, that's why one of our most successful audiences is where we target nobody but everybody at the same time. Leave it broad. It works really well on TikTok, only with high budgets. The second biggest mistake people make is they have low budgets. Again, it's a consistent problem. It can get you a couple sales, but it really doesn't outpace the learning phase, and it's a problem. It's just not worth the money you're spending to build the pixel. I know a lot of people use that as the excuse. It can work. Yeah, it's just it, I have spent $4.5 million on this platform in the last 16 months. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. And the third point here is really interesting because I still do see people try to compare this platform to others. TikTok is the wild west. There's no feedback scores. There's no regulations. You can do just about whatever you want, which is why it's so important that you start right now because it's easier than it will ever be to make money on this platform. But people try to treat it like Facebook and you cannot run the same type of video. That's why we put a lot of attention on this in our blueprint program. You have to have a different style of video. On Facebook, I can have somebody review the product. They talk about it. It's really basic and boring and it works well. That does not work on TikTok. You have to take a more native approach. It has to be different. Oh my my gosh, we're changing up the lighting. Again, this is madness. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe as well. This little mic arm is in my way. Let me know what the new audio sounds like, by the way. You like it? You don't like it? Anyways, that's a whole list of things that you should do and things that you should avoid when you're trying to run TikTok ads because you truly can watch this video back, do the same thing I talked about and start making $500 a day. The reason I say that, two ads at $100 a day each on average is gonna start bringing in $500 a day in revenue, okay? Start getting this up and running. Make sure to join our TikTok Blueprint program if you have not already. Second link in the description. The Top link is one of my all-time favorite apps on Shopify, B Profit. Very important to plug that in. They have a free trial. Go check it out. You got to know your financials. All of that stuff is extremely important. Plus, it's uh, pretty cool to look at how much money you're making when you get this right. Again, you got to learn this stuff now. So hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.